Hi everyone, so today I want to make an update video on big numbers ranking. So of course I've made already made an uh, older video on big numbers ranking but that was several years ago so I want to make an update video with more numbers and of course this list is based from the Googleology wiki. This is quite uh, popular among the big numbers and um, and of course this list doesn't include all the numbers of course there's thousands of numbers on this uh, wikipedia so i'm only including the more famous one but this list has i think more than triple the numbers uh than my older video and uh so from the googleology wiki it classifies numbers into different classes i think it defines numbers into 20 different classes from class uh, i believe class 0 all the way to class 20 so this list will include most of the classes. So let's get started. So from class one, actually they have a class zero, which is uh, from zero, from number zero to six. But of course I'm gonna skip that. So class one, the first number is a thousand, which is 10 to the three. So one followed by three zeros. And next we have uh, one million, which is one followed by six zeros, 10 to the six. And of course here on this video, I'm gonna use this short scale. I'm not gonna use the long scale, which is used in the uh, UK. And next we have one billion, which is 10 to the nine with nine zeros. Next we have a trillion, 10 to the 12, 12 zeros. And I think trillion is probably the uh, biggest number that most people would know or heard of. And the trillion, you know, we use that number in the like the GDP of, of uh, let's say the US or the world. And it's also around the number of fish in the ocean. And next is 10 to the 15. So you can see each number, it jumps by three additional zeros. This is the short scale, of course. So 10 to the 15 is quadrillion, which is around the number of ants on earth. Next, 10 to the 18, which is quintillion, which is around the number total number of sand grains on all the beaches on Earth. I'm not sure if it includes the uh, desert. It doesn't state clearly on the websites. And next, we have 10 to the 21, which is called sextillion, which is the lower bound of the uh, number of stars in the observable universe. Next, we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23. This is, of course, known as the Avogadro's number in chemistry. This is the number of atoms in, in one mole of substance. And next, we have 10 to the 24, which is septillion. This is the upper bound of the total number of stars in the observable universe. So this is quite uh, mind-blowing at first, uh, even myself back in the days. Um, there's actually more stars in the observable universe than the total number of grains on, of sand on the uh, on all the beaches on Earth. But even what's even more mind blowing is uh, ten to the twenty seven one octillion, which is the number total number of atoms in a human body. So the um, the number of atoms in your body is more than the number of stars of the universe and of course way more than the number of sand grains in the uh, on all the beaches next we have 10 we jump all the way to 10 to the 50 which is around the number of atoms on earth next we have 10 to the 67 which is equal to around uh, 52 factorial this is the total number of ways you can arrange a deck of cards next you have 10 to the 80 which is around the number of atoms in the observable universe so some people say this is the biggest physical number in the universe something like that uh, but of course we keep going next 10 to the 90 is the total number of sand grains that you can fit in the universe of course this number is bigger than this some people ask why because you know the universe is pretty empty it's not filled with atoms and next we finally arrive at google which is 10 to the 100 and it is a famous number uh, famous big number and of course the company google is named after this number but of course it's a misspelling and Google is, you know, the Googleology wiki, of course, is named after Google as well. And this is considered by many people the beginning of big numbers. So all these numbers here are not very big in terms of Googleology. Uh, but these numbers are all astronomical numbers. So anything about this over here are beyond astronomical. So next we have 10 to the 105, which is the Planck volume in a one meter cube, which is like 
three feet by three feet by three feet. So there's more plant volume in one meter cube than a Google. Next, we have 10 to the 118, which is around the number of atoms that can fit in the observable universe. Next, we have 10 to the 120, um, which is around the total number of chess games. Um, you know, the total number of ways you can play a chess game. And next, we have 10 to 183, which is around the total number of playing volume in the observable universe. And of course, some people say this is probably the biggest physical number in the universe, actually. And I uh, forget to mention, this is class 1. These two are class 1, and all these numbers that I just mentioned is in class 2. And in class 3, uh, the, first num the first number is the 2 to the power of 83 million something minus 1. This is the largest prime number as of, I believe, December of 2018. So it's been two years. Uh, two years has passed since, you know, the, la the biggest prime number has been found. So the past two years, no other bigger known prime number has been found. So it's kind of, I don't know, random or whatever. Because I believe the last three biggest prime number is discovered within two years or three years. So every year they found a new one, but the past two years they haven't found any new ones. And of course, there's a limit in compute computation, so I'm not surprised if the process starts uh, slowing down a little bit. So this number have around uh, 24 million digits, much bigger than this one. This is, has uh, 183 digits. And next, we have a Google Plex, which is still class 3. It's 10 to the 10 to the 100. This one has a Google digits. Next, we have the first skewers number, 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 34, which is class 4. And then we have Google Plexian or Google Plex Plex, whatever you call it, 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 100, basically 10 to the Google Plex. Next, we have the second skewist number, which is 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 964. And next, we arrive class 5, which is 10 to the 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 1.1. This is the Poincaré recurrence time. This is also the biggest number ever appeared in physics or actually any science. So after this, this is uh, all these number beyond that is uh, bigger than any number in science. This is basically just happened in computer science or math pure mathematics. Next class six, we have uh, 10 double arrow 257. This is called the mega number. Uh, of course, I have make a video on that. You can check that out. Next, we have three triple arrow three. This is the up arrow notation. Um, uh, of course, I I have a few videos about this. You can check that out as well. This is uh, also known as Sun Tower, or you know, uh, one of the step that is involved in Graham's number. And next class seven, we have ten triple arrow eleven. This is known as the, known as the Magus ten number. Of course, these three numbers are related: Mega, Magus ten, and Mosa. They all related. And next we have. 3, 4 arrows, 3, this is of course uh, G1 of Graham's number, the first step of Graham's number, class 7. And of course now we're getting bigger and bigger, much bigger. So next we have Mosa, with, which is uh, 3 with mega up arrows, 3, this is class 8. And next we have G2, 3 with G1 arrows, 3. And then we're still on class 8, so we have G7, small letter G, this is little gram, this is actually the original uh, grams number. Next we have G64, the famous grams number, actually my favorite uh, number. Um, and uh, yeah, you can watch, uh, I have videos about that. Uh, and then next we have uh, Ackerman, G64, G64, this is known as the XKCD number. Um, yeah, this is using the Ackerman function. The Ackerman function, of course, is uh, a very big, or I mean, a very fast going function. And then they put in G64 as M and N. So, of course, you get a very big number. But then, ironically, it's actually smaller than G65, which means the G sequence is a much faster growing function than the Ackerman function. So, G65. And then we have this small little G, of course, not the same as this one. This is based on the uh, Goodstein sequence, is another fast growing function, grows much faster than the G sequence. So, G12 in this case um, is much bigger than G64. Um, 
and then next we have uh, three arrow three arrow three arrow three of course this is the right word arrow it's not up arrow this is the Conway uh, chain arrow notation this number I believe is around approximately G of G 27 so as you can see it's much bigger than G 65 and uh, next we have uh, this thing over here we start using the BEAF function this is uh, another very very fast going function it goes much 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 faster than even the chain arrow notation and of course this is class 9 and then next we have the fish number one you know fish number is a little bit famous I guess in the Googleology wiki there's seven of them you will find out more later on so this one um, of course this is those things over here are the uh, fast growing hierarchy how fast they grow I'm not gonna read that out you can see that yourself and then uh, so basically class 9 is you know f of omega square class 8 is basically f of omega and next class 10 is basically uh, f omega cube so we have this thing over here again of course this is BEAF but this is a 5 entry this is a 4 entry and next we have fish number 2 which is around F omega 363 and next we have uh, BEAF again but this time there's 27 threes in here and next we look at class 11 uh, which is this thing over here this is basically uh, around this number over here f of omega to the omega this is cl class 11 this is based on the linear array notation this is the third place entry on the um, big number competition that produces loader's number so this is the third place entry and next we have fish number three which is around this thing over here and then I have to note that now I skip class 12, 13, and 14, and 15, because there's not a lot of uh, famous number in those classes. Uh, so the next, we jump all the way to class 16. So just let you know, we jump a big, huge, huge, huge gap. So there's a big, very, very, very big difference between fish number five and fish number three. And of course, just uh, I remind you, you know, every single number here, there's a huge, huge gap in between. Just let you know, because this, again, this is a world of big numbers. Every number, the difference is very huge, especially you go uh, towards the end of the list. Uh, each number is extremely far apart. And I think that's an under, uh, understatement. You know, there's not enough adjective for that. And uh, fish number five is around, you know, as you can see here, this is an, another new um, ordinal. You know, we, we already skipped the omega uh, ordinal. Uh, this is the epsilon, I believe. Uh, ordinal is much, much, much more powerful than you know, omega. And next we have this one over here. This is the second place entry that produced the Lotus number. This is second place, of course, um, which is around this. And next we have class 17, which is fish number six, which is this one over here. And as you can see, why is it missing fish number four? But actually fish number four is bigger than fish number five and six. And you will see later on. And next, there's finally, you see 3, 3. Because some people always think, you know, 3, 3 is the next number after the grams number. Um, yes, of course, it's much bigger. But how much bigger? Is this much bigger? It's not even closed. I mean, there's a tons, ton, tons and tons of numbers that I skipped already. It just show you how much bigger 3, 3 is compared to grams number. You know, 3, 3 is actually class 18. And of course, there's only... 20 classes and 3 3 is class 18 so it's almost one of the bigger number on 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 all the classes you know is the third largest classes actually and grams number is all the way down here is class 8 and 3 3 is class 18 so 3 3 is a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot bigger than grams number uh, so then the next we have SCG 13 uh, which is cl actually class 19 and yeah just <laughs> want to emphasize how big 3-3 is 3-3 is bigger than all of these you know bigger than fish number 6 bigger than the second place and a 
and again I miss I already skip a lot of line a lot and a lot of numbers in between let's say class 12 to class 15 I skip all of that and then next we have this one again over here I'm not going to pronounce that this is the I believe the biggest number ever defined using the BEAF but some people say this is ill defined because any uh, BEAF above the uh, tetrational level I believe is kind of ill defined so it's not very uh, well defined in any way but again this is just where it belongs is class 19 and next we have of course the loaders number uh, which is class 19 and this is one of the biggest uh, computable number ever defined in uh, mathematics and loaders number is bigger than this just to let you know because I got a lot of questions about this number and BEF they say, oh, it's crazily big, it's the biggest number. No, it's not the biggest. Lotus number is bigger than that, way bigger than that. And next we have, finally, we reach the last class, which is class 20. And class 20 is defined as uncomputable number. So everything from class 1 to class 19, they are all computable. Only the last class is uncomputable, and the final class and the biggest of them all. So it's kind of, you know, a lot of people asking what is a computable function or what is an uncomputable function or number. And yeah, it's a kind of difficult part of math mathematics and computer science. You know, I'm not going to explain here, but just let you know, this is quite a, quite hard to understand the uncomputable numbers. So first we have the BCB for, of course, BC, let's say BCB for 10,000, way bigger than Lotus number, something like that. Uh, but of course, BCB for doesn't start very big, you know, with small number n, let's say BB10 is it's way smaller than even Graham's number of BB10. But BB, as n grows larger, it just, you know, it just pass all, it just grows faster than any computable function when n grows large. Next, we have fish number four. Finally, this is fish number four. It's basically uh, based on the... BCB for function, so it's uncomputable. That's why fish number four is bigger than fish number five and six. And oh, I forgot to say this number here is based on the Goodstein sequence. And then um, the next we have the XI function, also uncomputable. And next we have the famous Rayo's number. You know, a lot of people say this is the uh, biggest number ever defined, something like that. Um, but of course there's bigger numbers, um, but most of them are not very well defined, so they are all ill-defined. Uh, fish number 7 is the biggest of the fish numbers. Uh, it is based on the Rayo's number, it is bigger than Rayo's number. Next we have this thing, these numbers over here, they're not very well defined, but they are said to be bigger than uh, Rayo's number. And uh, there's a question mark on Garden's number, you know, Garden's number, I think in general, it's um, basically accepted as the biggest number ever defined. But some people say it's only partially well defined. So I'm not sure, but I put it here is currently, they said it's the biggest uh, number ever defined. And of course, at the end, we have infinity, which is not a number. But I'm just going to put here because all of these numbers are not infinity, not even Rayo's number, not even Garden's number, they're not infinity, they're all finite number. Even though they're uncomputable number, <laughs> doesn't mean they're infinity and doesn't mean they're bigger than infinity. Infinity is bigger than all of them, but again, infinity is just a concept, it's not a number itself, so that's why, you know, you know, you cannot say this is the biggest number, it's not even a number, it's just bigger than anything else. And some people say what, I don't know, omega is bigger than infinity, so all of them, I mean, I, I already uh, comment, reply on those comments many times already, some people still don't get it, many people still don't get it. It's two different things, it's apple and oranges, you cannot compare them directly. Uh, nothing is bigger than infinity, just let you know, you, you can keep arguing, but, you know, you're not correct. Uh, you know, ordinals and infinity, they are totally different things. You cannot compare them directly. And again, there's nothing bigger than infinity because it is kind of like a paradox. If say you say there's something bigger than infinity, you just don't, you not you don't know the definition of infinity because infinity means it's bigger than anything. <laughs> you can have something bigger than something that is bigger than anything, right? It's just kind of like a paradox. But anyway, uh, this is my update video on 
big numbers ranking so thanks for watching and have a nice day